بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم سعد اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو ٹو دا ویری فرسٹ کلاس آف فزکس فار کلاس نائن اینڈ بفور آئی اسٹارٹ دا لیسن آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو کانگریچولیٹ آل دا فیو فار گیٹنگ پروموٹیڈ فرام کلاس ایٹ ٹو کلاس نائن لیٹس اسٹارٹ دا لیسن آر فرسٹ ٹاپک از ٹرننگ افیکٹ آف فورس نا واٹ از ٹرننگ افیکٹ آف اے فورس اوکے لیٹس فائنڈ اٹ آؤٹ so let it, this is a little door with its hinges at one end and you open the door from the other end have you ever noticed that it is very easy to open a door from its end which is away from the hinges and as soon as you move towards the hinges the force you have to apply on the door to open it becomes larger Similarly, as you move a little closer, you have to apply a very big force to open the same door. And at the hinges, it is nearly impossible. You have to apply a huge force to open the same door. Similarly, for opening a tap with the lever, let's sanitize it first. For opening a tap with the lever, if you apply the force with the your hand at the end which is away from the pivot this point is known as pivot at which a lever can rotate if you are at a maximum distance from the pivot the force you have to apply will be less but as you move towards the hinges like if i want to apply the force at this point you will have to i'll have to apply a big force similarly at the pivot it is nearly impossible to move the lever in a similar fashion if you have a wrench to unscrew a bolt at a distance at at a maximum distance from the pivot you will have to apply a small force to unscrew it but as you move closer to the pivot you will have to apply a larger force you move move in move even closer to the pivot you will have to apply even larger force and it is impossible to move the wrench from the by applying a force at the pivot i can also say that applying the force at this point i have maximum turning effect by applying the force at this point i have a less turning effect here i have even 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 smaller turning effect and here the turning effect is zero so it is not rotating Similarly, there are thousands of things in our everyday life's observation in which we notice that we have to apply a very small force at a distance which is very large from the point of rotation. And if we move closer to the point of rotation and as soon as the distance from our force to the point of rotation decreases, we have to apply a huge force. Now why did this happen? Let's think. Okay, let's get to the paperwork. So we have noticed that if we have a lever which is pivoted at one point, pivoted means it can rotate at one point. This is the point of rotation. And I apply force on the other end. and the distance between the point of rotation to my force is moment arm this distance is known as moment arm now there are three things one is this force that you are applying it should be perpendicular to the lever on which you are applying it the point of rotation which we also call as pivot and the perpendicular distance from pivot to force is known as moment arm now if we denote moment arm by r the turning effect of force will be known as torque
and torque is equal to R into F. The torque is the turning effect of the force. It is also known as moment of force. When the distance between the po pivot point and your force decreases, as, the, as you observed when you, that when you moved towards the pivot point, R decreased, and when R decreased, you had to apply a bigger force to achieve this turning effect. Similarly, if R is greater, you have to apply a smaller force to achieve, achieve this turning effect. Turning effect is the amount of force that you need to apply at a particular moment arm. Turning effect of the force, which is also known as moment of force, is moment or torque and is equal to moment arm into force and moment arm is the perpendicular distance from point of rotation to line of action of force and in terms of symbols it is torque is equal to R into F. Now you have studied force in class 8. Force is any agent which brings some change or force is a push or pull. Unit, the unit of force is in Newtons. And the unit of R, since it is a distance, so the unit of R is in meters. So the unit of torque will be Newton meter. So now if someone asks me why it is easier for me to open this lever from by applying the force at point 1, my answer will be simple that the torque at this point is maximum because the moment arm is maximum. So the turning effect is maximum. At point 2, since the moment arm from the distance from point 3 to point 2 is smaller, the moment arm is smaller. So at point 2, the turning effect will be smaller. So I'll have to apply a larger force for a greater moment. And at point 3, it is impossible to open the lever because at point 3 the moment arm is 0. The moment arm is 0 so the turning effect will be 0. Similarly, if you are opening the nuts of, of tire of a car using a wrench, if you hold the wrench from the edge, you will have to apply a smaller force because of a greater turning effect of force but if you apply the force from the middle of the wrench it will be difficult for you to open the screw because the moment arm will be smaller and hence the turning effect of the force will be smaller the same has been demonstrated in these is decided examples not only by the magnitude of Applied force. On right side, but also the moment arm is the larger, and so the, force. the turning effect when of force is smaller. When lever arm length is doubled, but on left side, it is seen the turning effect the of force is smaller force because the moment arm is smaller. Is so, if there are two people sitting on a seesaw, one is a lighter person and the other is a heavier one. The lighter will have to sit at the edge, while the heavier one will have to sit near the pivot to balance each other. Let us suppose we have two men sitting at the seesaw and the weight of the lighter person is 500 Newton and the distance of him from the pivot is 2 meters. So his torque will be 1000 Newton meter and the heavier person let us suppose his weight is 1000 Newton 
he'll have to sit at a distance of one meter to have a moment of thousand newton newton meter to balance the lighter person. I hope this topic of torque, moment, or turning effect of force is clear. If you have any questions, you can post in comments right below the video. I would like to give a small assignment to you to search about the torque of a car and also search if a car with bigger tires has greater torque or the one with small tires has a greater torque. Now the thought of the day for today, Hazrat Umar bin Khattab who said that what is designed for you will reach you even if it is at the bottom of the mountains and what is not designed for you will not reach you even if it is between your lips. Jazakallah. Thank you.